Hey guys, this is going to be my pregnancy update for week 32, yeah, 32 weeks and two days today. Um, so, what was it, a couple weeks ago when I was at the doctor, I failed my um, sugar test. So then last week I had to go in and do the three hour uh, glucose test. Oh my gosh, I'm freezing. Um... Yeah, I had to get my do my three hour glucose test where I went in and I had to drink that. They took my blood and then I had to drink that orange nasty crap within like five minutes and then an hour later they check your blood, then they check it another hour later and then they check it another hour later. So you're there for three hours. And then we had New Year's and I was thinking, okay, we'll get the holidays over with, everything will simmer down. I can spend the next couple weeks just kind of relaxing because this baby will be here like in no time. And then, like I've been telling my doctor for the last couple times I've seen him that this baby moves like nonstop and not like little kicks or flutters here and they're like, where it's painful. Like it doesn't matter if I sit, if I'm laying down, if I'm standing, if I'm walking. And like the past week, even at the grocery store, I have to walk like a freaking granny, like leaned over on my cart and super slow because it just hurts. Um, let me grab my blanket. So, nightly, I'll get in bed and be asleep or almost asleep. Half the time I'm already asleep. And around like 2 in the morning, this baby starts up again and just has me up till like 6 or 7 in the morning. And then I get up when Adri gets up, and then I'm just tired and cranky and grouchy and crabby all day long. She's been out of school for like, she goes back next week because they had a winter break. So the college is closed for winter break. So I've had like no days off. She went with my mom the other day, but her and my mom weren't feeling very good. But other than that, it's like, it's just been crazy and with the holidays. So... I didn't get up till like 3 o'clock today. Today is Tuesday, January... What is it? The 3rd. Well, right now it's 4 a.m. on Wednesday the 4th because I can't sleep. This baby won't let me. Anyway, so I got up today at 3 o'clock. I had a message from my doctor's office because they celebrated the holiday yesterday so the office was closed. And they called and said that I failed my sugar test and I already have an appointment with the baby doctor on Friday or no on Thursday on the 5th so they needed me to go right then to the downstairs office and get some paperwork and then go upstairs to their upstairs office where the um, the lab is and get blood work done which basically I have gestational diabetes which I don't even know enough about it because I don't know I've always been like healthy and active and I don't know. So I went up, did my blood work. She told me to try not to stress out because you know it happens to a lot of people. And a lot of times after I have the bit, the after you have the baby, you know you'll go back to normal. And if not, then you just have like high risk for type two diabetes, or else you're just diabetic from then on out. Which <sighs> my dad struggles with it. Um, so I'm trying not to freak out. All I know is if you don't get under control, it can cause harm to the baby, and it's not good for you, and it can cause uh, labor problems. So, yeah, so I woke up to that phone call, rushed out the door to go to the lab, stopped back home, then I had to run to Meyer. They called in a prescription. I forget what it's called, but it's to help with your blood sugar or your insulin. I don't know. I don't know. So I went there, and then I stopped and grabbed some uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken on the way home. Because I'm like, I don't... I don't know anything about anything. All she told me on the phone is if I drink milk or juice or regular uh, pop, don't drink any tonight. And I told her, I said, well, I either drink water or I drink Diet Mountain Dew. And she said, well, Diet Mountain Dew, uh, it doesn't have carbs or sugar in it, so it doesn't affect your blood sugar, so it's fine. She said, but still try to drink more water. So, um, she said Diet Mountain Dew won't affect your blood sugar whatsoever. <clears throat> She didn't tell me to watch what I ate. She said, we'll go over, over all that a different day. And then I know sooner, like I got home from the getting my blood work done and had a phone call 
So my doctor's office said for me to go, I woke up to chaos. Go get to the office, get paperwork, go upstairs, get blood work done, go to Meyer, get my prescription. They said I'll have my normal appointment on the 5th with my baby doctor. And then on the 9th, I have to go to my baby doctor's office and see a diabetic counselor there at 8.30 in the morning, which I'm not a morning person because I'm up all night with this baby. And Adria doesn't go back to school until Tuesday, and that's on a Monday. And I don't have a babysitter. I know they said I would get a call from another diabetic clinic soon and then I no sooner got home from doing my blood work and the diabetic clinic called they want me to go in tomorrow at 2 so I can learn how to take my blood sugar and learn how to even deal with all this stuff because I have to do it throughout my pregnancy so I hurried up and called my family doctor because Adri has to have her physical her school called today and said she has to have a, a new physical done or she can't go back to school next week because hers is was from last year so I called them so in the morning yeah it's already after 4 her appointment is at 10 10 for her physical and then we don't have a babysitter so I guess I have to go by myself I wanted Jay to go with me just cuz I'm overwhelmed with like everything um, and I'm not gonna try and take Adri cuz then I want to be able to focus on what the nurse is telling me so they'll probably just stay home and I'll go to my appointment at 2 and learn all this crap and then the next day will be my regular baby doctor appointment and then we have the weekend and then Monday I have to see the diabetic counselor at 8.30 in the morning and then she goes back to school on Tuesday uh, and I've been I was just up in bed for hours because I'm so tired and no matter how I lay this baby kicks so hard I feel like it's I don't know, between that and Jay's home because of what's going on, he went ahead and called in today and used a vacation day so he could so we could try and figure this crap out because it was all like spur of the moment. So he's upstairs snoring like crazy. So I can't sleep. So I thought I'd come down and have a snack. I don't even know what I'm allowed to eat because some things say don't eat fruit and some things say I might have to cut out fruit completely. But I'm not supposed to eat bread because that's a different kind of carb. And then something else said that I need to eat more protein, like peanut butter and beans. So I came down and I just had an apple with um, a tablespoon of peanut butter. I don't know what I'm supposed to eat. They told me to start taking my pill today. But by the time I got home from um, the pharmacy and getting food... I went ahead and ate, and then I read the thing, and it says if I'm taking it once a day, because the pill they gave me is a one-a-day pill, um, it says to take it, I'm just overwhelmed and tired, it says to take it once a day, and to take it 30 minutes before your first meal, which they told me to take it, but I don't know when, I'm supposed to take it today, because it's at night time, it, it would have been right after I ate dinner, so I don't know. So she said that my Diet Mountain Dew won't have any effect on my blood sugar. The blood work I did today is supposed to test what my blood sugar has done for the past three months. It's like I have to make myself eat two meals a day because I'm just never hungry. And now I'm reading this stuff. I'm about to eat like three meals plus three or four snacks. Like I can't. I'm never hungry. I can't even eat like sweets unless it's like fruit. But then something else I read said it's not about what you eat. It's just something with the pregnancy that causes it. I don't know. I was just telling Jay that I hope everything goes fine with this baby. Because when I had Adri, like, as soon as they had her, her or as soon as I had her there, um, I got to see her for a few minutes. And then her trachea was sucking in. So they ended up taking her down to the special care nursery. And they did x-rays and they found uh, fresh blood and dried blood in her stomach. And then they kept her, so like, on my way from the delivery side to the my baby side, like, a lot of people get, you get wheeled over there with your baby. I didn't. I didn't get to see her. I got to stop in and see her. She had a tube in her nose. I didn't get to see her till the next day. And I saw her to do, like, the baby pictures. And then... They took her back to the special care nursery and for like the next five days um, they kept her there 
because she was jaundiced like really bad so I got to hold her every six hours for 30 minutes and that was it for like five days and like in between like in between those six hours I could go in like every three like I go in and on the one hour and I could hold her and feed her and then three hours later I could go in and just feed her in the little thing I was just telling about that I hope everything's fine with this one and now <sighs> there's possibility that I might have problems with labor and with this baby's health and I'm down to like I thought okay we'll get the holidays out of the way everything will calm down <laughs> we set up the pack and play and the swing so it's already ready. I brought down all of Adri's old clothes so I can start going through those. I thought, okay, like the next five to eight weeks or however long, you know, because they told me I'm going to have her early. So I thought in the next few weeks I can just slowly get this stuff done and not overdo it and kind of spend some time, like, some extra time with Adri while it's just me and her. And now I have all this. I don't even know anything about it, so I don't know if I should worry or not. I don't... I don't know. But I also read on the one uh, Mayo Clinic site that... Sorry. I'm just... It's an overwhelming day. It's just been a crazy month. And then right when I thought I was going to calm down, I have this to deal with. So, from the Mayo Clinic, it said... Um, the sugar that my body's not breaking down, the baby is storing it as fat, and it can cause the baby to be overly active, which probably explains why I haven't been able to sleep in two months because she is just all over the place flipping and flopping, but then that kind of pisses me off because I've been telling my doctor that for like two months that she never stops, like, and that it's painful. It's not like kicks. It's not like with Adri. It's not your typical kicks. Like, I've taken video and all my friends are like, oh my god, I've never even seen that before. That's crazy. And you're only like, just now seven months pregnant. And he just says, oh yeah, you, uh, an active baby's a good sign. And now I come to find out, no, it's not. This baby's just getting all this extra sugar that my body won't break down. So she's not getting sleep. I'm not getting sleep. I have no patience with Adri because I'm just so tired and irritated with everything. It's like, and every time I eat, I think a lot of it when I don't want to eat because every time I eat, my stomach swells up so bad. I'm just, it hurts. Oh, now they're saying I need to eat more. And from what I read, I need to start exercising. I can't even move. Like, It just hurts. This baby's so low, it hurts to sit, it hurts to stand, it hurts to lay down. I can't, I don't know. It's like I don't have a pain tolerance because when I had Adri, I didn't even get an epidural. I didn't want one. I'm not getting one with this one. I didn't get my first dose of pain medicine until I was at six centimeters. Like it wasn't that bad. Most of my labor was in my back, which my back has been killing me the last couple of days. If I sit, like right now I have to hold my pants like away from me because anything that's like up against my stomach this baby is like sitting right where I bend so I don't know I don't know what to do I don't know what to eat I don't know how to sleep I even tried sleeping medicine because they suggested that that didn't work ow ow like I said when this baby moves it's not like little moves like <sighs> I don't know. It hasn't been a very fun day. I thought I was finally, like, everything was going great. I'm down to, like, the last six weeks or so. Well, I only say that because they said I'm going to be early. My due date's in eight weeks. Adrian's birthday's on the 31st, so here in a few weeks. Like, so I thought I could just spend some extra time with her. And just slowly get these last few things together. And just kind of relax. <sighs> I don't know. I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't wait to just be done with it and lose this weight. I've already gained. I've already gained thirty pounds, and I saw two months ago. 
and I just keep saying it's all baby, it's all baby because it's all in my stomach, it's nowhere else, like, my face isn't getting fatter, my arms are still, like, my arms aren't even, like, that big, my wrists, like, I have teeny tiny hands, and it's just all in my belly, and they keep saying the baby's growing, but I'm not, so I don't know. But that's my update. Like I said, I lost weight at the beginning of the year. I lost like 15 pounds. I got rid of all my bigger clothes. So now I'm just trying to make do with what I have because I don't see a point in buying bigger clothes and maternity clothes because I'm not planning on staying big. Um, oh my gosh, baby. I'm going to post a video because you won't even believe what this baby does like nonstop for hours. At least none of my friends and family have ever seen anything like it, so I don't know. Yeah, I lost 15 pounds ow, and got down to like 130 and right now I'm at 160 so I've already gained 30 freaking pounds. I don't know how people, like I told my mom, I don't understand how people can be like a few hundred pounds overweight. Like I can barely handle this 30. I can't reach my ankles to like shave my legs. I can't put my shoes on I can't it's miserable I walk upstairs and have to stop like every couple steps because I can't breathe I hate it I've always been like basically healthy and fit and I've never had health issues and then a couple months ago they tell me I have a mask on my lung and now I have this like come on can I just can I just relax the next couple weeks and have a healthy baby <laughs> I just had two funerals like in the last like all in the month of December like just <sighs> I'm exhausted over all of it <laughs> I feel it I feel like a horrible mom to Adrian because I don't even have like the energy to do stuff with her I'm just too exhausted. I can't get on the floor and play with her. I lose my patience with everything she does because I'm just so tired. Like, she'll be hyper at night and she'll get out of bed like three or four times and then she'll go jumping down the hallway and I'm like, Adri, stop jumping. Stop running. Get in your bed. Like, I'm just, I'm constantly like on her. And as soon as I say something, I realize it, that I sit there upset about it, but it's like, I can't. Oh, I don't know. She still comes in out of nowhere to give me a kiss or give me a hug, so I don't think it affects her, but it's like, dang. I'm not even letting my kid be a kid. Like, she's only going to be the only kid for a few more weeks. And I'm just, like, taking all the fun out of it. I don't know. So hopefully this medicine, when I start it tomorrow, and whatever they tell me to do, will calm this baby down so I can get some sleep. So I can be like, ow. Ow. Be a good and patient mom with Adri for the next few weeks and like stick it out. And not be like stressed out and in so much pain every day that I can't. Yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and show you my belly. Then I've got to try to sleep. I have to be up at nine. Oh, man. It just hurts all the time. Like, I've told people, like, it just doesn't feel normal. It doesn't feel right. And everybody's like, oh, you're pregnant. It's not supposed to be fun. Oh, you're pregnant. Yeah. I get that. And I understand I'm supposed to be uncomfortable, but not, like, in pain where... I can't walk, like it'll be to where I literally can't walk, I'll have to stop or just stand there, lean over my car because I literally cannot make myself walk because it hurts so bad. And now, come to find out there is something going on, so. I hope everybody feels bad now for telling me 
or acting like it's no big deal. Oh my gosh. is kind of coming back together. Ow. Okay, so here is, let me make sure my pants are up high enough. They're just pajama pants. I just had to have them super loose. So here is, like I said, I'm 32 weeks and two days today. Oh my gosh. That's my pants rolled up. I should be glad I don't have stretch marks. Stretch marks. I didn't have them with Adri either. So here's my 30 pounds. Like from what I read, it says I should gain like a pound a day. That's another. No way. Because I still have 50 days. I can't gain another 50 pounds. That's got to be wrong. That's what it said. I should be gaining like. I swear it said a pound a day. Oh my god, no way. No way in hell can I gain 50 pounds on top of this. So yeah, like I said, it's all belly. Like, my arms are still, like, little and toned. It's just all belly. Look at that thing. Oh. Like I said, it's super low. Like, my underwear, like, literally right here. I have to hold them out when I sit just because it... Everything's miserable. I'll have to post a video of just like baby movements because it's crazy. But yeah, look at this monster. Poor thing. Poor thing storing all my extra sugar. It's just so funny. My boobs haven't really grown. Like they haven't started to fill. It's just all, all belly. or something right here. Hi there, baby. So yeah, that's my 32 week update. At some points, if she kicks just right, I literally feel and look, looks like my belly button's gonna like pop out. Yeah, <laughs> look at that thing. So yeah, uh, that is it for this update. If you have any suggestions on how to deal with gestational diabetes, cause I'll learn more tomorrow, but I'm just kind of freaking out. And any little tips would be appreciated. So if you have any advice or tips, or if you went through it and then if it went away after, like if things went back to normal after you had your baby, yeah, let me know. I just need, I don't know anybody that's had it, so I can't even have anybody that can relate other than like Googling online because like none of my friends have been through it or family. So, yeah, leave comments down below, nice ones please, <laughs> um, with any tips or advice of what to do. I still need to add things to my baby registry. I only need like mainly diapers and wipes. Um, I need a small dresser. There's a bed set I want to get for this little ladybug. Um, it's so cute, I decided I was going to start calling her Ladybug, but the way she flips and flops around all the time. And then um, on Christmas Eve at my mom's, I opened a package from my aunt and my cousin in Florida. And it's a little, it was a little Ladybug outfit. They didn't even know. They didn't even know that I was going to call her that. So I just thought that, I don't know, about made me cry. I think I did cry on Christmas Eve. But yeah, I'm behind on vlogs. I'll get those up. I'm going to end up posting this first, so this is current. Ow. Um... Yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you want to see more of my baby updates, click on the little bell beside the subscribe button and that will notify you of when I post. Otherwise, I'll just show up in your news feed. Um, ow. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like pregnancy updates. Ow. See that the baby moves? She like balls up and like about rips my skin. Like I don't know where this baby's going to go as she keeps growing. I hope I read that wrong. There's no way I can gain a pound a day for the next two months. 
It says like this week the baby's already over 16 inches long. Like Adrian was only 19 and three quarter inches long when she was born. I'm only three inches away from that. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try and go back to bed. It's like 4.30 and I have to be up at night. Oh yeah, this is my update. Wish me luck. I'm probably stressing out and getting worried over nothing. But like I said, I'm just tired and overwhelmed and it's just been a crazy month. I was just ready for things to kind of slow down and now there's other issues coming up. So yeah, I uh, thank you for watching. And as always, you guys are like the sweetest people ever and leave me like the nicest comments ever. And I love my subscribers and my viewers. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.